Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is about this book right here, I Love Dirt. As I start nature studies with my kids, this is something that I learned recently that is an excellent part of homeschool. And it's something that I'm not comfortable with, like seeing worms and other animals. But this book gives me plenty of ideas and how to go about teaching my children to really go outdoors and enjoy what's out there and to really discover nature and appreciate animals and so forth. So I wanted to give you a quick flip through of this book so you can see what it's all about okay so this book has 52 activities to help you and your child discover the wonders of nature so what I love about this book is that it gives you activities for all four seasons so it starts you it starts you with spring it gives you awesome activities for the springtime and the perfect weather in spring for summer the fall time and winter so you have plenty of options through all four seasons Okay, so springtime is going to give you activities that you'll get to enjoy through the warm and rainy weather. So what I love about this book also is that it teaches basic nature and science concepts. And then it asks questions uh, in each uh, lesson and it also gives you answers for that question and activities. So I'm going to show you um, some of them here for the springtime, but I'm going to show you what we did about the worms, the worm study. So the first lesson we decided to do was wiggly for worms because it was just perfect weather for us and it had just rained the day before. So the boys got to learn why the earthworms come up on rainy after rainy days and also what are worms? Are they animals? Yes, they are and they're invertebrates and so forth. So it taught them basic science about worms. It all, I also love this activity because it made them move and do active um, hand movements and so forth and wiggle like a worm. So this stimulates it's wonder, curiosity, and appreciation for living things. Okay, so now let's take a look at summer. Uh, the first activity is digging dirt. So as you're going to learn all about what makes dirt, what does it come from, how is it made, and also uh, you get to do activities with dirt, make impressions, and this one will stimulate creative play and problem solving. Another activity is to explore ants. So they're going to get to learn all about ants and the scientists who study bugs, which are called entomologists. And so they learn if ants smell and so forth. And the activity is for them to follow ant trails and also um, learn about how they leave a scent behind. So this activity will stimulate discovery, exploration, and understanding of living things. Okay, so now we'll take a look at fall. This one is for activities for cool days and cloudy weather. So I love this one here. It's a thinking place and it's going to encourage your child to really appreciate the outdoors in a quiet time. So it just tells you uh, to pick a spot outdoors for yourself and just relax. And it encourages relaxation and comfort. So I love that. And the next one is Wandering Wind. So this one will teach your child about different types of winds and then it will just say what, um, just what wind is, wind is air and so forth. So this one will stimulate imagination, awareness of weather, patterns and curiosity about the environment. So the last one I'll show you here is winter um, and this one comes with activities for cold days and snowy weather and this one here will just teach your child um, some activities they can do during a snowy day. Um, they can build a ramp, they can play freeze tag and they'll also learn why, why does snow stick together and then this one will actually teach your child to and encourage them to exercise and creative play. So there you have it, you guys. I Love Dirt comes with 52 open-ended activities that you can do with your child to encourage the love of outdoors. So what I'm doing for my nature studies is that I'm going to pair this with a bunch of uh, books that I have in my library. As you can see here, I am pretty stocked. And these books are amazing. They're awesome. I pretty much uh, have everything I need to do my nature studies with my child. So thanks so much for watching you guys hey talk to me in the comments and tell me what you're doing for nature studies what books you're using i would love to know and if you're new please subscribe to see more